Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Morphs and today we've had some more exciting locks, Jared. You came in before me, we've got a bit of building work going on in the house at the moment so I was tied up with the builders. Uh, Jared, what did you witness when you came into the facility th today? I saw three new locks that I hadn't seen before, which yeah, is nice. Really exciting as well, these are pretty exciting projects. Do you want to have a look at the first one? Um, they may still be a lock but uh, we've got the Black Hair Dreamsicle project. Zeus. Zeus. Do you want to have a look and see if they're still locked out? Yep, so Zeus this morning was locked to Peach. There you go. Are they still locked? Yep. That's lovely. So Black Hair into They've the done a lot of wheeze. Yeah. And they're locked up nicely, so. That's really good. And the other one that we've been carrying and didn't see a visual lock was um, Casper to Zag. Now that is the Exantic Ultramel Mojave Bamboo uh, project. So do you want to have a look and see if they're still locked, Jack? Yeah, they are. That's lovely, isn't it, Jack? And then the third lock was um, three years ago we produced a beautiful uh, fern. It's a beautiful fire girl, very bright fire, pet for clown and we put Hercules to her and I think Jad you sent me a nice picture because I think they've unlocked now haven't they so shall I just show you the the picture of the lock I don't know whether you can see that okay the lock is just there yeah I think I also sent you a picture of the close up okay so let's do the close up as well um, oh there we go there's the close up so we're hoping to produce some fire, leopard, enchi, lesser clowns, which would be absolutely amazing. And you can see how bright she is. Jay Pastel. And Pastel as well. Can you see how bright the actual clown is? Because what the head influence does, it brightens up the animal. And she's looking really good at the moment. I think they've unlocked now. So it's all looking good on that side. And let's just have a quick look and see if they are still... Um, still locked or not. Yeah, they have unlocked, haven't they? But there we go. And above her, we've got a hide girl called Iffy that we put the Exantic, the VPI Exantic hide boy to. And I think they are tail to tail. I don't know if you can see that, Jared, but let's move it out of your way. See, they get quite messy when they're breeding, but he's been a bit of a stubborn boy, isn't he? He's not mm. locking with many of our girls. I think he's only ever given us one lock, and that was last year. I don't think oh, he's done a poo in the corner. Done a poo in the corner, just for good measure. And then the other project that we've done is we've put Curiosity, which is our exantic clown project. These are double heads. Galileo to so Galileo is a super pastel exantic clown, and his wife is Curiosity. She is a pastel double head exantic clown. So we've got a one in 16 chance of fitting exantic clowns there. So not to, haven't got a lock yet, but we'll see what's going on. And then Starburst, who's our Mojave uh, Ultramel girl, three years old. She is with Randy. And as you can see, he's on top of her, doing all the right things other than looking. Other than locking, he may well have locked and unlocked Jad, but he's proven to be a very good breeding boy. So we're hoping to produce Mojave Ultra Pides is what we want there, don't we, Jared? But I think she's not visual. Uh, she's a visual ultra male, but she's not het for pides. So no. the idea, this is a strategy that we're going to adopt, is if I bring out the stud boy that we're preparing to go in here, Colt. So this is a little strategy that I've learned, Jared, from other breeders. Is you start your girls off with the boys that are able to breed and then as you're bringing on the other boys so this one here is Colt yeah you renamed him Colt didn't you well, named him yeah now he's 600 grams technically you can breed with boys that are over a year old and 600 grams but we're not going to breed with him yet we're going he's to not producing sperm Jared's checked, not producing sperm so what we're going to do is we've got his father which is Randy who's a visual pied 100% het for uh, ultra male he's doing if you like the spade work <laughs> and we're going to try and steal the clutch in March if he's ready to go in about six months 
and plug him into the final stages of the uh, just prior to ovulation to see whether he his sperm will actually steal the clutch or it might be a joint clutch so that's the strategy that we're adopting if we end up getting all ultra males we'll know that he's stolen the clutch if we end up getting half of them that are ultra male we know that his father randy stole the clutch so they'll all be 100 percent het for pied, pied. anyway yeah. so we know that's going to go okay it's just whether we get more ultra males or not is the key issue there with this boy who's a visual ultra male we'd end up getting 100 percent ultra male and half of them would be Mojave ultra males 100 percent het for pied which I think would be a lovely building project going forwards. And then we want to, I think on Saturday, Adam had to pick up Nathan from the airport this weekend and we were planning to pick up our Ultra. It's uh, the clown hit Ultramar boy, but he's coming this weekend. So uh, hopefully we'll reveal him to you next week. Um, the idea is that we'll plug him into some of our double Ultramar projects um, and then produce clown Ultramar pies. Almost like a holy grail, but with the Ultramar. Uh, is what we're looking for here with hopefully some extra codons and the other strategy we've got is some um, we've got a super gravel girl called Electra and we've also got an ultra male boy that we're going to plug into so the idea is we're going to get gravels going into to the project and then if we get yellow belly into the ultra male we can get some highway ultra male clown pipes is what we're ultimately looking to achieve Jan I think they'd be beautiful so let's put him back and the other thing we've done is some of our girls uh, have got up to size we've moved them up to the adult racks and we're going to just go through those so let's just put Colt back and we'll start with Biscuit now Biscuit is a silly pine girl she shed out just today she just shed out so yeah. this, is, this is perfect for her she is quite strikey but I'll just see whether I can get her out without her striking me. Oh, she didn't like that. Come on, girl. You coming out? There you go. There she is. Isn't she beautiful, Jad? Mm hmm. And she's over a thousand grams now, so we've moved up to her adult rack. And we'll just uh, allow her to enjoy her new facility. And she's got a small hide. So the technique that we have. You can see that she's all, <laughs> she has been disturbed. Look, look, she's in that S shape. <laughs> so uh, it's not feeding time, but we just gotta, hopefully with the small hides, she'll settle in quite nicely and be fine. But um, she's getting more dots on her body, Jad. Yeah. You see that? It's almost like banana. Yeah. So that's beautiful. Right, we'll put her back. Let her have her at home back. So there's the skip. Now we know we've got Kelly, which is also moved up. She is our... She's just a pied. Pied, 66% het for ultra male. And there she is. She seems to be doing really well, Jack. Beautiful markers on her. Yeah, she's so, pretty. She's yeah. a lot lighter. She's a thousand grams as well. So she's probably a bit more than a thousand. So she should be ready for next season. So these girls are going to be ready for next season. And then Harmonia. Now Harmonia is a Ooh, pastel green. orange dream 50% hep pied, which is carrying the markings, Jad. And again, we've given her a small hide so that she feels settled in. I think she's going into shed right now. But she's got the orange dream pastel and she's got the pied marks as well, Jad, which are shown as tracks underneath. But also oh, she's- when she's in the shed, she doesn't look OD. <laughs> no. no but exactly when they go into shed, but we'll let her shed out. So she's settling in nicely. And then we've also got another girl over here, which I'll show you, which she's also going into shed. You can see they're all eating well. And this is her sister, which is not her sister. This is Enya. Now Enya is a, see she's going into shed at the moment. So she, you're not gonna see her at her best, but she's settled in nicely. She's a thousand grams and she is a fire, Enchi Het DG girl and she'll come into the DG projects later. We want to get fire and Enchi into our DG projects, so she's gone in and she's settled in nicely as well. Now, we have managed to sell a few snakes this week as well, so thank you everyone for your support on uh, helping us. And uh, I think there was, was someone from the US that made an offer or at least wanted to buy the um, B 
beautiful Mocha Mojave girl. Unfortunately, we don't ship to the US, but uh, thank you for the inquiry on that one. But I think, Jad, you've sold a couple of snakes this week since you've put everything mm -hmm. on Morph Market. And how many snakes do we have on Morph Market now? Oh, there's about 20... We've got about 30, 20 to 30 20 snakes there. on Morph Market. Please go look at those. We've discounted them heavily because we're trying to make space for our next breeding season. Mm -hmm. So the prices are very, very competitive. And uh, one of the snakes that we want to um, sell is one of our banana spiders, Het Clown boys, which both of them are ready to go in terms of breeding. I'll show you one that's just shed out, Jared, so you can see how beautiful he is. And again, we've moved him up. And look how beautiful this animal is. And he's weighing about eight or 900 grams, maybe a thousand grams now, Jared. But he's producing sperm and he's ready to go. So if you want to get a banana clown spider, he'd be a very good option. And I think we're selling them for about 80 pounds is the price on those. So if anybody wants to get into the banana clown spider project, that one's going for 80 pounds. And let's see if there's any others that we can, I was going to do two a week, Jack. Let's see if there's anything else that we've got up for, for sale. Um, what should we do? Should we look at the Starbuck? Let's just start with her. She's 50 pounds. We think she's a mocker. I'm pretty sure she's definitely mocker. She is beautiful. It's a pretty good price, this 50 quid. And you can just see how beautiful the mocker is. So it's kind of like a chocolatey colour. And you can see the deep blacks and the lovely patterns. So if you contrast that with a normal snake, if we get a, a normal out, you can see the difference in pattern. And colour. She's, she's got like lighter blushing. So look at the difference in the patterns. So, <clears throat> you this, you yeah. See even better. yeah. There we go. So there's your mocha and there's your normal. normal. Now different she is different colours, different patterns. Yeah, she's carrying one of the genes, 100% het for ultra male, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. And her name is uh, actually it's a boy. Actually, it's Starbuck. He's a stud boy. That we're selling but if you want to get into the mocha mocha ultra males i don't think anyone's produced one but it's going to be toning up the darker color to the ultra male and you can see look at these crazy 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 alien heads chad have you seen the alien heads on these mm -hmm. it's a beautiful morph it's um might be one of those untapped ones you might find out justin kabelka suddenly <laughs> says introduce mocha to something and it'll probably go through the roof <laughs> But we do like the look of them. They've got that lovely chocolatey colour, dark colours. They're in the bell complex as well. Yeah, so you can make bells on them as well. But this is 100% het for ultra male. So if you want to get mocha into your ultra male projects, then that's one animal that uh, is definitely affordable, 50 pounds. And it's probably weighs about 600 grams, 700 grams now. So it's good to go. There is a female as well. It's you, the same. Have you got a female for sale there, Jared? If you yeah. want to show her off as well. She's here. This one is in shed, and I don't think this one's mocha, but there is one that I think is mocha, and that's this one. Yeah, she's mocha. This one's mocha, this one's not. Okay, how much is the one that's a female that's going? 60 quid. That one's 60, this one's 50, so for 110 pounds, you could yourself that you can breed ultra males and you can have uh, the mocha gene either bell as well super mockers um, but I think a super mocha ultra male could be very powerful if the, if the ultra male and the mocha gene go well together and say so I haven't seen any on all, or morph market but I do think it could look very nice Jared so I think that's the uh, two three snakes that we're selling this week so if anybody wants to make us an offer please feel free to do so I hope everyone's also having a good start to their breeding season. Thank you for watching and supporting us, and we shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now.